Good afternoon, everyone. Um, item one, apologies for absence. Thank you. Item two, uh, urgent business, which is item seven. Um, item three, declarations of interest. Item four, uh, are members happy to approve the minutes of the General Purposes Committee meeting held on the 26th of June, 2024? Great. Thank you. Thank you. We'll now move on to uh, item seven, appointment of member level bodies for 2024 to 2025. Um, are members happy to agree the appointment to the scrutiny panels detailed in paragraph 5.3? Agreed. Thank you very much. And then we'll now return to the agenda and start with item five, uh, the proposal for the Royal Royal Greenwich Council becoming a fostering friendly employer and offering an incentive to council staff for foster care recruitment. Um, who will be speaking on this item? Yeah. I can speak to, to the item. Um, essentially, the drive is to increase the number of foster carers that are Greenwich foster carers, not using independent fostering agencies, which would cost approximately 20,000 more per child a year. Um, we want to ensure that we value our foster carers and that we um, increase the number of staff who could become foster carers. Um, as part of that, there's an initiative by the Fostering Network about being a foster-friendly employee. Uh, you then get registered with the Fostering Network that you have that, that status. Essentially, it means it's an additional five days leave for each person who uh, becomes a foster carer and a 250 incentive if you recommend somebody else to be a foster carer and that they are successful in that application. So that's the proposal, the decision. Thank you very much, Florence. Uh, do members have questions? Uh, Councillor Lacan. Yeah. Um, thank you very much for this report. I really welcome it because um, I think children always thrive better within a caring home, and um, keeping them local is is um, really important. Um, I think we've seen where they thrive better when they, um, they are within the communities that they've um, grown up in. And I think also it, it just um, speaks to um, extending the same values that we have for the community to our own staff. Um, and I just think that this is really important. So I fully welcome this report. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Fletcher. Yeah, thanks, Chair. Just what, uh, how are we going to launch it? And um, will we be launching it with foster carers that can speak to people that might be thinking or that's a really good point um we'll certainly do a communication strategy around it it will go into talk greenwich but i think your your point about utilizing foster carers so we have a big campaign could you foster i'm sure you've seen the team out and about in greenwich in the community in the weekends and we will launch something similar within the local authority within ourselves um, and promote it and talk Greenwich, but you utilise foster carers, and maybe a foster carer is already employed with Greenwich. I'm sure we've got somebody that we can do, but we will have a communications plan around that. Thank you very much. Uh, Councillor Hartley. Thank you, Chair. Um, yes, also very happy to support. Um, it's not a, an interest I needed to declare, but I, as it happens, I work for an employer who is already, which is already a foster-friendly employer, and we have found that uh, it is particularly valuable in uh, widening the pool of applicants for roles. And uh, I know it's mentioned in the report about attracting talent, uh, but that could enable us, when we're trying to attract talent to the council, to actually um, uh, sort of uh, communicate with and to seek applications from the borough's foster, fostering parent community that already exists as well. So there's a kind of 
I'm happy to support it, and particularly because of that recruitment benefit, which, uh, as I say, the organisation I work for has, has experienced firsthand. Thank you very much. Um, so, are member, members happy to agree to decisions in section 1.1 of the report? Please raise your hand. Chair, Hold just on. before you make the decision, um, I just like a, a slight amendment to the legal comments. There's a reference to the director um, in the penultimate paragraph of the legal comments. That should, in fact, read the council. So could you, just for the purpose of me to, Azika, could you just repeat that? So in the, in the legal comments, yep. over the page, um, second to the last paragraph, mm. it says the director can therefore make the decision. That should read, the council can therefore make the decision. Okay. Um, with, that, if, with that amendment, uh, Thank you. I believe with the legal advice, we can accept it. Are we happy to vote on the report with that amendment being made at here, this meeting now? So. Are members happy to agree the decision to 1.1 of the report in addition to the amendment of the legal uh, comments which says the council can therefore make the decision required? Please raise your hands. Thank you very much. We'll now move on to item six, um, to agree the violence and aggression health and safety policy standards. And this will be presented by uh, David White. Thank you, David. Uh, thank you. So the policy standard um, provides an overarching um, policy framework for the council to help meet its legislative responsibilities uh, for managing the risk of physical harm, uh, including the misses, to members of staff from members of the public. Um, it does this by promoting managerial awareness of the key responsibilities that all managers within the council have um, to protect our staff. Um, as well as supporting the uh, development of role-based arrangements to keep staff members safe from physical assault um, and has been developed um, in concert with the broader work that the council's undertaking around um, zero tolerance to uh, violence and abuse towards staff. Thank you very much, uh, David. Should you just wait there? Uh, do your colleagues have any questions? Councillor Lacau? Thank you, um, Chair. I, again, really welcome this. And as someone who uh, saw one of our members um, of staff um, abused in an unfortunate incident and frontline member of staff, I think it's really important that um, we're seen as a council to be um, taking this very seriously. And, um, you know, it does concern me. A lot of our members are out there working on their own um, in quite vulnerable situations. So I do appreciate this. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments? No? Okay. Are members uh, happy to agree the decision in 1.1 of the report? Just okay. like to raise your hands. Thank you very much. All right, that brings us to the end. Obviously, we brought item seven forward and agreed it. Um, uh, and I'd like to thank everyone for their time. Thank you very much.